Hey guys, what's up? This is Fierce for 11 and today I've got another Game Maker tutorial for you guys. And I know I'm sorry for not bringing a Game Maker tutorial for you guys. I know it's been like a month or so, but I just really haven't been making them and I'm kind of sorry for that. But here I've got where we're going to be working on the jump scare and the, well, you died screen. So let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be looking at is the Rick at door. Now keep in mind, there's nothing else, and I mean nothing else we have to do besides just make like two objects, well actually like three, and maybe a few sprites, but that's about it. Nothing else has to be changed. Uh, just these things. So basically what I did is I made my jump scare. And the jump scare is pretty basic. I just went to paint.net, uh, drew just a little pose, and then just went to Premiere Pro and, you know, just did that. And I think it looks kind of nice, and I just uh, exported it as a PNG, and I put it together as an animation. So that right there is my jump scare. And we've already made our animatronic at door in the previous episode. So what I want you to do is I want you to open up that object. Now, I know that I'm not like showing like every like, walkthrough, but there was a lot of coding in this, as you can see. And I didn't want to make any mistakes, so I'm going to just show you guys what you have to do. And you can just put the pieces together by yourself. But I'm going to still explain to you what you have to do. So on the Rick at door object, right here you go to the execute a piece of code block that we did. And this is the block right here. Now this is the only thing you have to add. It's just create zero on uh, the coordinates is zero to zero because that's your jump scare. And you want it to be like, you know, filling up the entire screen. And you know, you just put your object right there. Oh, jump scare or whatever other name you have it on there. And that's all you have to do for that one. All right, and then you make your jump scare, uh, your jump scare object. The def is going to be negative nine nine nine, and it has to be visible. Okay, keep in mind that, and you just set the sprite for it. So you know, I just went to my game hallway, and there it is, S jump scare. So what you have to do for this one is you make a create event, and then you get a piece of code block. Now I'm gonna put this code in the description. But I'm gonna still walk you through to everything you have to do because you can't just copy and paste it into there and expect it to work because I know you guys are probably gonna have a different name for your for your uh, objects unless you're following every single little thing in this tutorial. Okay, so what we're first gonna uh, talk about is the brings camera down part. So what this does is that uh, let's say you're on the cameras, right? And you you don't know the animatronic is there, but then he pops up and jump scares you. Well, it's going to look a bit weird because you're going to be on your camera, so you're not going to be able to see the jump scare, right? So, what we're going to do is that if, well, first let's look at this, okay? So this one moves it back into the room, which your jump scare is going to be in because it's at zero by zero. So, it's going to move the camera back to where the jump scare is. So, this you can keep, you can keep it on, like, you know, you don't have to change anything about that. But for this one, you do. So, this one says if you... X view is at 1280 and 0, so that means if it's like on the camera side because it's on 1280 by 0, then it'll make, then while it moves, it'll make the camera flip down animation, so that way your camera flips down and the animation pops up at the same time, so, you know, it doesn't just, like your camera just doesn't disappear and it look pretty weird. But make sure you have this line. Make sure you have that line. Because then say you're not on the cameras and the jump scare pops up, then it'll show the camera flip down animation while you're not on the cameras and it's gonna look really weird and that's actually something I found out so I added that block into it so these two things we got done with and this part you're gonna have to work on on your own okay now if you don't really know how to code I suggest you watch some tutorials but for me this is pretty simple so this makes everything idle so let's say the jump scare pops up well you don't want people to like rapidly click a button and then glitch the game out right well, what you have to do is that you have to make them idle. Now, in other episodes, we've already made, like, the the mass bar. We've already made, like, a still version of it. See, it's right here. And same thing for the camera button. See, it's right there. Cam bar still. So, all you have to do is just do with, and then I put cam bar on. It all changes to the cam bar still. And let's say it's not on on, and it's on off. Well, we're going to change the cam bar off into the cam bar still. And uh, the Y just means perform events, just put it on Y. I mean, there's no events in it, but just keep it that way. Uh, and same goes for the mass bar. Just do the exact same thing, but maybe just a little bit different names. And that's really all you have to do for that, uh, for the coding. 
So now that we got done with that, you add an animation and event, and you make it to where it goes to the go to room, go to the room, RM you die. So basically, I made a new room right here, RM you died, and all it is is we're get, all right. We're gonna uh, go over this object in a second, but the object is basically just a sprite where it just pops up saying you died, and it just goes back to the main menu after like five seconds. And I had the little fade in creator block just so you know it won't look it won't look weird when it goes into that room. So basically, when the jump scare ends, it'll go right to the you died room. So basically, with the jump scare and the animatronic at door, we can close these out. There we go. And all we're left with is the uh, you died part. So right here, uh, it can be at depth of zero. It doesn't really matter unless you want to put static and stuff. Then yeah, you can do that. Uh, but all you have to do is you set the sprite, make sure it's visible. Uh, you can keep the death at zero unless you want to add anything else and you make a timer So I made set variable dead to five so it'll take five seconds and then you put the set alarm zero to 30 uh, And then you know the minus one relative you guys already know how to do this. I've already showed you um, But yeah, once the timer ends it just goes right to the main menu and that's about all you have to do so this was pretty basic the only part that you actually have to like work on in my opinion like pretty hard is the jump scare and stuff like that mine was pretty basic but I think you should work on yours uh, a little bit more but if you don't have the software you need then you could just do it in the sprite editor inside of game maker but I do recommend you use paint.net because it is free and it's basically like a free Photoshop so yeah um so that's basically all you have to do there's nothing else you have to work on just those objects because with the coding it already brings in the other objects to it and that's really all you have to do we've already made the camera movements and everything so I think it was pretty nice. So that's basically our night done. And then next episode I'm gonna do the uh like the timing for the like the AM where it goes like you know one AM, two AM, three AM, four AM. And then also I might add a mini game. I'm not sure about that. I might have that like towards the end, like extra stuff. But it might be like a big episode with that kind of stuff, you know, like I don't know, like an hour long. But yeah. So I'm about to show you guys how it basically looks, and I hope you like it. And if you have any problems, make sure you comment them down below. And thanks for watching. So let me show you guys how this looks.